first vice chair. We wouldn't let him not be the chairman of Twin Falls County, and we kept making him stay. That's how much he means to people in the Magic Valley. His public service is literally over his entire life. And, you know, on a personal level, Mike and I would, when I became state committeeman, Mike and I would travel to the state meetings together and work on pretty conservative, somewhat contentious issues. Sometimes those were challenging for him. I mean, he had, he, he always, no matter what the issue, always went with his, the strength of his beliefs and he is a deeply convicted Christian man. And, uh, and even if it was a contentious issue, he stood in and carried the ball. Um, I, I can't really, you know, I can't really describe the depth of my feelings for Mike. Um, he served this party in such capacities um, over my entire experience and much longer before that. And he is a man of deep conviction. He is a conservative Republican person with respect and decency. And I would encourage you to retain him in the position of first vice chair. Thank you. Hi, I'm Amy Taylor, and I'm a delegate from Bonneville County. And I've been known to hyperventilate in front of large groups, so I'll bear it. I, I do want to express my appreciation for all of the people that are willing to serve in these positions for our party. I don't know if you know this, but none of them get paid. And they do a lot of work. And I think that it's very admirable that people will volunteer their time and be willing to serve. I do want to speak for a moment about my friend Mike Matthews. I uh, had a, an experience traveling with Mike a, a few times back in Washington, D.C. And we had gone there for our jobs. And although I lived there for a short time, I have no sense of direction and I always get lost. So every time we'd have to walk to our meetings or locations, I would just get with Mike because no matter how many tunnels, no matter how many turns, we always ended up where we were supposed to be. And I don't know how we got there, but Mike always knew where we were going. And that's how I view Mike, and I think that's the type of person that he is. He's just solid, he's secure, he's someone you can trust to lead and guide you to the place that you need to be. I know that he is a dedicated husband and father. I know that by the daily emails and updates I get about his son's ball games. And I really appreciate that. I think that as a party, it's important to us, our representation, stand for the values that, that, that we hold. He is a lifelong Republican. He has served the party. You probably won't see him out in front making big speeches. He'll be in the back getting the work done. And that's the kind of guy he is. And as first vice chair, we're going to have a new chairman. He's got a lot of institutional knowledge. And I think that he can bring some security and some direction to this party. And he, he will do the will of the people. And, and that's what his desire is, is to serve the party and to serve the ideals that he believes in himself. So with that, I just would like to offer my support to Mike and um, hope that you'll consider him for the nomination of a vice chair. Thank you. Good afternoon, my name is John Cross and I'm a delegate of Kootenai County. Mike and I have worked together on the executive committee for the past two years. Mike has been an active and positive influence on that committee. I see it as my job here as one of the presenters to give you some of the biographical information that the first two didn't supply. So I, I, I want everybody to know how deep uh, Mike's uh, involvement in the Republican Party has been over the years. Mike started out in college as the uh, vice chairman of the college Republicans of Boise. 
Boise State University. And after that, Twin Falls Lincoln Day Chairman for four years, uh, Vice Chairman of the Twin Falls Republican Central Committee, Chairman of the Twin Falls Republican Central Committee from 2000 to 2008. Twin Falls Precinct Committeeman from May of 08 to May of 2010. He's been the first Vice Chairman of the Republican Party, Co-Chair of the Idaho Republican Hall of Fame Committee, and in 2010, Regional Campaign Coordinator for Governor Butch Otter, Lieutenant Governor Butch Brad Little, and State Controller Donna Jones. And in addition to that, in 1988, he became the legislative correspondent for U.S. Senators Larry Craig and Jim McClure, working in Washington, D.C. In 1995, he was a regional director for U.S. Senator Larry Craig here in Twin Falls, Idaho. That position lasted until 2008. In 2008 to present, he's a regional director for U.S. Senator Jim Risch in the Twin Falls, Idaho office. Mike has been actively involved in the Republican Party for most of his adult life. Please join me and re-elect Mike Matthews as the first Vice Chairman of the Idaho Republican Party. Thank you. Wow. Um, it's always humbling to hear uh, people sing your praises. Um, it is uh, difficult. Um, I think uh, if you have to remember one thing about me, just remember the word service. I think that's what I've been about. Um, it's not about me. It's about the party. It's about my belief in the party. It's about working for the candidates. Um, I'm hardworking. Um, and I continue to work now uh, for the candidates, for the party. I believe in the party. In 1998, I was elected to the uh, uh, Republican Hall of Fame as the Outstanding Republican Worker. Um, in 2011, I received the Twin Falls Crystal Elephant Award for being the Outstanding Republican in the county. Um, and like I said, I'm about service, servicing the party, you know, serving the people of Idaho, and I hope you will remember that. You can tell by my experience that that um, service is part of who I am. I pretty much, I think if you cut me, I'll, I'll bleed uh, Republican red, so, which also happens to be the color of our blood, so that works out really well. Um, so, I don't have to sacrifice much there, it's all the same, so. Um, but um, I also, to the best of my ability, I try to get up every morning, look in the mirror, and you know, say, are you doing the right things? It's very important. Try to be honest every day. And, uh, I've been proud to serve this part. Um, Okay, so we have all three of the candidates. Um, what we're going to do is hand on the ballots now. Uh, we had a little confusion on the first round of balloting, so what we're going to ask the chairman to do after you get the ballots, and you hand them out to your delegates and your properly seated alternates, if they're sitting in the place of a delegate only, uh, is to bring those ballots forward after you've collected them all from your delegation and place them in the cans that the, the youth folks are going to have in the front. Uh, we had a little problem with 
Mr. Too many people running into each other. Yes. Mr. Chairman, I don't know if you would call this a point of privilege, perhaps a point of order. I do note that before, that after we reconvened after lunch, we did not take a roll call. Therefore, before we start passing out the ballots and announce the last vote and start voting on this one, um, I would request to move or very suggest that we have a roll call so we can ensure that the number of seated delegates matches the number of ballots. We took the roll call this morning. The reason why the ballots are limited to the number that you have seated delegates is that can change. We can take another roll call right now, and five minutes later, some will have left and now they came back. That is the chairman's responsibility. We took the roll this morning. We don't need to take the roll again. Okay, so hand out the ballots. These are a different color than the last round of ballots. To the chairman. Yes, another point of order. This, this will go faster if we have less points of order, just so you know. Okay, to remind folks, vote for who you want. Ron, Chick, Mike. Please fold your ballot only once or twice. It's still secret. Ten times, not so secret. Kind of crazy. It's hard to get those unraveled back here. Okay? If somebody doesn't have 50% plus one at the end of this round, the lowest person will be dropped out and we will do another round. Okay, that is the rule. I read it earlier. All you need to do is vote. Again, chairman, collect the ballots from your delegation and bring, as the chairman, bring all those ballots forward to the camps that the youth delegates have here. Not individually. Give the ballots to your chairman when you're done with them. Chairman to come forward after you're done voting.
Chairman, collect the ballots from your delegates and put them in the can. Come forward to the youth delegates. If we could get the two chairman candidate up, candidates up here, please.